Hello everyone, so uh, here's a little movie about connecting the RK6 to the RK8. Um, the advantage of the RK6 is uh, you've got a lot of MIDI outputs and two extra MIDI inputs, and it can do USB hosting. Uh, it can even host multiple USB devices at the same time, so ideal for something like the RK8. Um, whoop, that's the cable, uh, the OTG cable we deliver with the um, RK6. You connect the mail side to the RK6 and then you can connect a single USB device into this USB port um, but you can also connect the hub to it like this. Better enjoy this clean overview while you can because cables will emerge quickly. Um, I'll put it here. <coughs> so what we have now is uh, three USB ports on the RK6 uh, OPZ and a power supply. I'll plug the power supply in already. Like this. And I'll collect some other cables. So the OPZ cable, I'll put it in here and connect it to one of the USB hub ports, like this. And then we have the Novation launch key. I can also connect it with USB like this, all the way around, there, and then another USB-A to USB-C cable you get with the RK8, you connect it like this, and then also like that. Okay, um, I have another cable left. Oh yeah, that's the cable for connecting this whole bunch to the power. So, power goes in here. You'll see everything starts up. I can connect the OPZ, turn it on. And I can turn on the RK8. You can see clock uh, coming in, then it starts pulsating. To, see, to indicate that there's a uh, clock available on the bus, it will start uh, pulsating and uh, sending a start, so you know that there's a clock somewhere. Well, basically, this is it. I can just press keys here and you can hear it on the OPZ. I can play something. There's nothing really in it for the OPZ, but uh, yeah, this is basically it. I mean, um, I won't bore you with some experimental music because I haven't even connected the OPZ to a speaker so it will sound pretty crappy anyway.